hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele so i have a sweet tip for you all today i know i have not had that in a while this is all about skimming off the oil from our stews to the left is our fresh stew looking good and to the right still looking good but with no oil at all well let's do this so our stew is ready and how do you know that by no foams coming out of these bubbles that you see it will bubble up but there'll be no foamy stuff around it that means your stew is well fried that's what we africans do our foremothers did that and although we have refrigerators now we still do because our stew will not taste the same so to begin after you've turned your fire off off, you need a ladle a small one like this and a container to store your oil that is if you intend to reuse it now all I do is to push the ladle down and allow the oil to fill it up you do not want to be scooping because if you scoop stew will get into your ladle and it will give you too much wahala <laughs> or too much trouble all right so yeah just keep pushing it down and filling it up now just in case you get stew in your ladle you want to either pour it back in your stew and try to scoop it out or decant it carefully just like this and put the stew back in your pot now as i'm skimming you can see that um, I keep tapping my ladle to the side of my pot that is because the stew sticking to the bottom of my ladle and I don't want that stew going in the oil that I'm skimming to set aside so I try to get um, rid of as much from the back of the spoon as I I mean the ladle as I can and I continue to do this now for most people after this first skimming they are done but that is where the mistake comes in I never skim off the oil one time as I'm pushing my ladle down it is causing indentation in my stew so what you have to do is to allow the stew to sit and rest after the first initial skimming of the oil or you know scooping um, you don't want to scoop like i said but if you don't know what skimming is it's just trying to um, scoop out oil of your stew so once the first initial one is done you want to leave this stew to rest for a good 15 minutes and all these indentations will fill back up with oil and as you can see it did just that so i'll just come back in and skim it all out again leave it alone and i'll repeat the process until there is not enough oil for me to skim yes so this is the little um trick that i use to ensure that my stew comes out as if i use just about a table spoon or two to fry this big old pot of stew so yeah don't ever worry about my oil intake because i do try to skim as much off as i can once you've skimmed it off for the last time you still want to leave it alone to see how much oil will fill back into those little indentations and once it's not enough then you've done all that you could and trust me it works this method works a whole lot at times my stews feel like there's no oil in it at all I let it sit came back a couple of more times and at this point I wouldn't even get any oil if I try to there's a little bit but not as much as you know we started off with 
and you can see the before and after it is a huge difference so yeah try this process let me know how you like it let me know if it helped you get more oil than usual off and as i always say keep the oil for a lazy day jollof rice or you can even use it to make your corned beef stews and other delicious stews as you choose then serve your stew and enjoy thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this sweet tip until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all